and happy Friday! I think Friday might be my new favorite day of the week, like Friday morning, because you have the whole prospect of the weekend out in front of you. Like right now, it's Friday morning, and I've got my coffee, and I'm just looking out at downtown Columbus, Ohio, and the leaves are changing, and it's really beautiful. So I hope that wherever you are watching this, you are having a great day as well. I kind of wanted to get back into the idea of vlogging more often because I asked you guys in a previous video if you guys wanted Vlogmas to come back this year and I got an overwhelming yes. We want Vlogmas to come back and so I figured even if I can't vlog every single day in December, some will have to be pre-recorded videos of course, it may be some live streams and of course a whole bunch of Christmas giveaways. I should probably get back into the idea of live streaming, not live streaming, oh my gosh, of vlogging. Today, because it's Friday again, like I've told you my infinite love for Friday, <clears throat> I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing my hair, so I brought back like the overnight beach waves where I like take a shower and just twist and braid this hair. I think the last time I did this hair was in a tag video the like live on less and save more I'll link it above I think that was the last time on camera you guys saw this hair and it was just literally because I wanted to have a video up on a certain day of the week and I was driving home so I literally stopped my car and filmed the tag video normally you guys see my hair like either curled or straightened this is literally take a shower at night blow the hair dry for five minutes and then I twist the hair up into like lay a buns on each side of my head and then in the morning when I wake up, I will safely and like carefully take the braids down out of the bobby pins. Once the hair is gently pulled out of the braids, I just bend over and run my hands through just the roots of the hair. That way you don't get frizz in the waves and it just looks more full. And then from there I part the hair on the side and then take a little bit of mousse and hairspray just to kind of even out the front and make, to make sure that there is no frizz in the front or along the jawline. And from there, this is the end result. Five minutes in your bathroom, no heat, touch of hairspray, touch of mousse. I think the lady thinks it's weird that I'm talking to my phone in my car. It's fine, I don't know her. But I do know some of the baristas in Starbucks and I told them I had a free drink today and I wanted to just get like a skim milk pumpkin spice latte. With, a, with one less shot of syrup, because I know they put a lot of syrup in these drinks, and I haven't had one in two weeks, and I've always just gotten the cold brew coffee, so today I said, let's do it, it's a Friday, it's a good day, we're thinking good thoughts. The drink was free from a drink reward, and she asked me for an extra shot of espresso, which I did, so now I'm gonna talk real fast. And then she gave me the pumpkin whipped cream, Normally I don't put the whipped cream on here because it's a hell of a lot of extra sugar and calories, but as this is going to be my breakfast and I'm about to take you guys downtown to walk a few blocks, I said, all right, one day, this, this is the day. It's gonna be this Friday, this is it. This is your PSL for October. I try to get one a month in the fall and it's not for cost, it's just literally, I've seen the sugar amounts, I've seen what's in these things. I like pumpkin spice lattes. I also like a cinnamon dolce latte, which I could get without any dairy in it, and it still tastes amazing. I get the cinnamon dolce with almond milk and one less shot of the cinnamon dolce syrup. That way it's less on the sugar, it's already dairy free, it's kind of like their vegan drink, and I get it with no whipped cream. In other random Lazy Kristen news, I did take my makeup with me to the office because I got in and they delayed a conference call we had for 20 minutes, so I literally just did my makeup in my office. I just closed my door. Um, in the video you saw of me making this look acceptable in public, I didn't have any makeup on. And I decided to wear my glasses just to kind of go with like the Friday chill vibe with the scarf and the striped shirt. Um, but I also didn't take my makeup off correctly last night. I thought I did. I must have had something extra or just dirt around my eye and I fell asleep and I woke up at 6 a.m. with like jolting pain in the right eye. It was swollen, it was red, like just it was tearing. So obviously there was something in the eye. Have you guys ever had this condition? And if you do, please let me know what it's called where you wake up or you just notice that there's just jolting pain in the eye. It turns really red and bloodshot. It's just pouring a bunch of water because it's obviously trying to get something out of the eye. It's not the best way to wake up. I will tell you that it is quite horrible. 
But that is enough of me chit-chatting here in my car. We are going to go down a few blocks to this little convenient mart. Uh, one of the ladies in my office requested that we get some hazelnut coffee creamer and as she has been cutting dairy out of her diet I think she found out she has a slight dairy intolerance and it makes her stomach hurt we have all decided we're going to get the silk almond milk hazelnut coffee creamer so we all pitched in for it and I said I will go downtown and get it and so I can get a latte so we're gonna go downtown and get that I also tried to paint my nails I'll show you guys this in a video if you guys do want to see how I do this hair and maybe how I do these nails, let me know because I'll throw these into videos because I'm going to be vlogging every day in December. And any ideas are welcome. Collaboration ideas are welcome. How to be even more lazy with your hair. Always, always welcome. Let's go downtown. Love isn't the best place to find a lover so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. Mm -hmm. Come over and start up a conversation with just me, and trust me, I'll give it a chance now. Take my hands, Whew, it is so beautiful outside. If you guys got to see my live stream yesterday, which I will shamelessly put above in the cards, people are staring. Um, I talked to you guys about my latest update with that docu series that I'm interviewing and applying and auditioning for. Um, the most recent update, if you don't want to watch the whole live stream, I'll just give you the shindig now. They contacted me and they asked me to sing five songs of their choosing and I had four days to prepare them, film them, upload them onto private videos and send them to the producers on their website. So the videos on this channel were a little bit scarce this week because I was spending more of my evenings practicing these songs. I mean, there were songs I knew because I had given them a song list with my resume and headshot, and they had already known I could do them just through interviews and talking. But uh, it was a mix of musical theater, jazz, 70s Woodstock. It's true, it happened. We're gonna go with it. And I recorded their selections. Uh, Christopher helped me set up the camera with the lighting. Uh, with the microphone, which is weird because I've never actually just sat in front of a camera with a microphone to sing in that capacity. But he took the footage and made sure that everything synced up and was as perfect as it could be for five, like 90 second clips of their choosing. So thank you, Christopher, for doing that for me. You're amazing and I love you. And now it is time to go into the grocery store to pick up some stuff. I might also pick up some tea. I went to my parents' house last night uh, if you watch the live stream, you know my dad got his knee replaced. And my mom got out this like berries and cherries, some kind of tea, and it was like the greatest tea. I don't think she got it at Giant Eagle, but I'm gonna look around. And mom, if you're watching this, get more of it, cause it's real good. Well, I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. This is the world's smallest grocery store. This right here. Just this is their makeup section. Actually, when I did my makeup today, I realized I have a new favorite foundation. And ironically, it's drugstore. It's four or five dollars a bottle. It's the CoverGirl Luminous something or another. I don't even know what it's called. It's clearly not sponsored. I just bought it once because it was on super sale. And now I realized it's my favorite foundation. I'll look it up and I'll link it below. Nothing seems to be on sale here and I'm totally not distracted by the makeup aisle. <laughs> so we're leaving the store. Two things just happened in the store. One, the lady ringing me out asked me what I'm filming on and it's my little octopus tripod that I'm using. So I explained it to her and she loved it. You young kids and your gadgets, she said. She is really cute. Crossing the street, crossing safety first. But then, one of the reasons I came here, like I told you, is I got some stuff for me and my coworkers. My coworker wanted something put on her debit card. Here's a millennial story. I spent 10 minutes on the phone trying to contact her to get her debit PIN number because I forgot you could cancel a debit card to charge it as credit. So I stood there like a fool on the phone trying to get in contact with her. So those things just happened. Awesome. 
All right, so I'm gonna take these purchases back to the office and I will see you guys later. I'm real excited tonight. Christopher and I are going to Hibachi and then we're going to a party one of our friends is throwing. She just started dental school. Sorry, my battery died out on the street when I was last talking to you, but the good news is the work day is done and today is the day. Today is the day I hit 5,000 subscribers on the Kristen Marie channel. Thank you guys so much. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you missed the live stream yesterday, I did a giveaway that is still live, and I'm gonna let it go live through the weekend just because so many people told me they just saw it and they want time to go and participate. But if you went and watched my video yesterday, the live stream, how to enter the giveaway, how to enter the giveaway, go to my video, how to be confident right here. Give it a thumbs up and in the comments, write some sort of comment that includes the words 5K strong. Cause I was really hoping that we would hit 5K this week and we did, we made it at Friday, but that doesn't matter cause we've hit 5K and the winner of the 5k giveaway is going to get an Amazon gift card emailed to them. So once again, if you want to enter the 5k giveaway, go to the video, how to be confident, give it a thumbs up and in the comment section, write 5k strong and then whatever you want along with it. I can't believe that I will try to live stream again next week, but there is a whole bunch of different videos going up because October was kind of already figured out well like two or three weeks ago so if I can find a day and a time to go live I will to thank you guys maybe to give away the giveaway winner I don't know we will figure it out I decided to drive to this really beautiful part of Columbus I'm at a park and the leaves have all changed and I'm right by the river so I thought that I would walk outside and kind of end the vlog in the way that I like to end the week I like to take just 20 to 30 minutes to myself, go walk outside, just kind of relax, take in, I love fall, take in fall and nature. It's just kind of like meditating, but outside and people still stare at you, but no one's here because I'm in the park. Anyway, let's go finish the vlog outside in nature. So we're outside just kind of enjoying fall around us. I know this wasn't like the best week for anybody with just horrible things happening in the world. But I do hope that you guys all found some sort of joy this week amongst all the pain that has been going on. I know I don't typically talk about that sort of thing on this channel, but don't think that that doesn't mean that I don't see all the things that do happen and feel for all the people that are just going through unbelievable times. I think that's why I like walking outside at the end of the week though. It just is a chance to just kind of recoup, reflect on the week and what can be better next week. Like I said in the vlog earlier, tonight is date night. Myself and Christopher are going to a Hibachi Steakhouse, which is why I had a really light lunch and I'll be very hungry in the next hour. Sorry, Christopher. And we're gonna go to the Hibachi Steakhouse and then we are going to go, like I said before, our girlfriend is hosting a party for the brand new Ohio State Dental School students. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. But yep, it's gonna be Hibachi and a dental party. Christopher likes to play games called the Jackbox Party Pack where you all play on your cell phones. And you like answer questions and fill in the blank. It's just, it's awesome. If you haven't checked that out, I'll actually link it below. I'll look up the website. I really don't know much about it. I just know that it's really fun. But we're going to introduce fun to the newest members of Ohio State's dental program. So that is our evening. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Yeah, if you guys are in a place where it's fall, go outside, enjoy the cool weather and the changing of the leaves, and spend time with your family and friends, and just enjoy your weekend. Anyway, I cannot thank you guys enough for 5,000 subscribers. I know in the world of YouTube that is nothing, but for me and my channel, that is awesome. So thanks again. 
I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. We're gonna do a little grocery haul. And I'll see you on Tuesday and Thursday.